Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Here I will show you and teach you how to check on whether the user has logged in and signed out. It means that you want to listen to user logging in. As the user logs in, you want to listen to and see a message. And as the user logs out, you want to listen to that one. Now here I have this on ready method inside this. I have on init method or init auth method actually. Now this could be called from anywhere, even from a button press, it doesn't matter. But here when I go to a sign in page, I just call it automatically. Now here are a few things you have to remember. First, you have to have Firebase auth object like here I have. And as well as you have to have a stream because this is the stream actually that we would connect with Firebase auth and then the stream would be able to listen and keep listening if the user logs in and if the user logs out. So as you can see here that we have this object as well as we have stream object. Now inside the stream object, we have this user object. Definitely this is coming from Firebase auth. This is not your own user model. It's coming from Firebase auth. Now because the user could be null, user is only valid if the user is logged in. So that's why we have this question mark over here where we say that user would be null. Now back to this init auth method. Anyway, we wait here two seconds and after that first we get Firebase auth instance and then we assign it to this one so that it doesn't become null anymore. Now Firebase auth instance also have this auth state changes. This is very important. You have to get this one and then you have to bind it with this auth state changes the one that's coming from stream of users okay so our user is connected with this stream user is connected with the stream so user changes or the stream changes the idea is same then we'd be able to listen to that so anyway from this auth state changes which is a stream object and we listen to the user as we listen to the user over here now once again user could be null so that's why we have this question mark now if user is valid then we'll assign to this user object over here and which is this one now once again this user is also firebase auth user okay not your own user so if we have user we print the method and would we'll print user id and email and of course we have also sign out object and uh, sign out in sign out object we have a custom log and as well as auth sign out now this auth sign out is coming from this object over here so you have to remember that now let's go ahead and verify that we as we log in we would be able to listen to the user so as we log in we'll see that we'll print out this one so over here we have our console now as i click on this it asked me to log in so yes we don't have anything yet i'll click on this uh, we still don't see anything yet and then i'll select one of my accounts as i click on this now things will change from here now as you see i've already logged in and this is my name and as i was logging in it says that user id is this so we are able to listen during login so this is where we were able to uh, check user login and we are able to listen to it okay all right now as we log out we would also see that this would be this would get called okay this init auth method would get called not really init auth method actually this object would get called okay as you can see over here so this is declared out of this method so anyway so now we'll go ahead and uh, log out and we'll see that here it says that user email id is null so let's come over here click on this and make sure that we see the message now here first we see that uh, here it says sign out of course this is the custom method uh, custom log that but most importantly here this is uh, that we printed so which is coming from here which is coming from this auth state changes so auth state changes is a stream so it's always there as long as your app is there so using this we'll be able to listen to user log in and log out thank you so much